The city of Northport says it's the only city in Florida that can't incur debt for projects without voter approval. I'm Fox 4 Charlotte County Community Correspondent Alex Orenchuk, and this could change. And the irony is, it's in the hands of the voters on the November ballot. If approved, the city would be able to borrow money for things like emergencies, public health, and safety projects. The city said currently projects to repair aging infrastructure like this 60-year-old wastewater treatment plant have to be paid in cash because of a city law. It doesn't let the city go into debt without voter approval. Northport's utility director, Nancy Gallinero, said the city needs money to make essential repairs to utility systems. And you can't just kick these cans down the road. You can't say, well, I'm just not going to fix this pump, or I'm not going to repair this pump, or I'm not going to paint this tank, or I'm not going to line this, this pond. You have to do this work. The current way to pay for projects is to pay more for water. And so without the ability to borrow the money, those costs are, are going to be incurred by the people currently paying their water rates and currently hooking up. The money can also go towards maintaining roads, bridges, and building fire stations. The current law also means the city can't accept state or federal loans without voter approval, something Deputy City Manager Jason Yarbrough said is costing the city millions. Tampa's getting that money. Orlando's getting that money. Sarasota's getting that money. Other places are getting that money except for us because we have an antiquated city charter that does not allow us to incur debt without uh, a blessing from the citizens. The irony here is the decision will come down to a vote. A referendum on the November 5th ballot would remove the rule and allow the city to borrow up to $15 million per project. For it to pass, there must be a 50% approval plus one. In Northport, Alex Orenchuk, Fox 4.